Dr. Oz has courted some controversy at times on his show. Now he's courting votes, entering the high-stakes Pennsylvania Senate race as a Republican candidate who's recently moved to Pennsylvania. I'm a resident of Montgomery County. I voted twice. As he kicks off his Senate campaign, Dr. Oz responded to critics' claims that he lacks Pennsylvania roots. I take great pride in the fact that I spent my formative years in, in the Philadelphia area. Uh, my wife's family's been here for 100 years. The controversial talk show host and heart surgeon says he's traveling the state, meeting Republican leaders and voters. What's the biggest issue facing Pennsylvanians? I think my run for Senate is the time at the right moment because so many people dislike each other. And that's another thing that sort of surprised me. You know, we don't see the divine spark in each other's eyes. His political website offers brief views on the issues. I ask him about abortion rights. You're pro-life. Uh, where do you fall? Do you believe Roe v. Wade should be overturned or do you support limiting abortion? I'm pro-life uh, with the three usual exceptions, uh, especially the health of the mother, but, uh, but incest and rape as well. I'm OK with the Supreme Court making the right decision based on what they think the Constitution says. Pennsylvania needs a conservative who will put America first. In the ad announcing his candidacy, one line sounded a little like former President Trump. You consider yourself a Trump Republican? People have been trying to put me in a box my whole career. I'm an unconventional guy. Uh, I'm running as a small government Republican. I have confidence that the ideas that I'll put forward will resonate to people. How are Pennsylvania Democrats responding? Well, Janelle's spokesperson Jack Doyle says, quote, it's clear this GOP Senate primary will get nastier, more expensive, and whichever Republican candidate ultimately limps out of this intra-party fight will be deeply out of step with Pennsylvania voters who will decide the general election. That's the response we got from the Democratic Party in Pennsylvania.